take a moment to read through the problem and define your variables. All right, I define my variables. X is going to be the number of cabinet X, and Y is going to be the number of cabinet Y. That's convenient. Now I'm going to look for my objective quantity. What is it that I am trying to maximize or minimize? So I usually go to the end. How many of each model should we buy in order to maximize storage space? So to maximize storage space, you have to come up here and see that cabinet X holds eight cubic feet. So the storage space, storage space, or we could have used V for volume, cabinet X holds eight cubic feet. And cabinet Y holds 12 cubic feet. Now we have to find our constraints or our parameters that we have to work within. So hopefully you read the problem and you saw how much each cabinet cost and how much floor space are required and then you can see that we only have $140 to spend. So cabinet X cost 10 per unit so 10X plus cabinet Y is 20 per unit so 20Y and that has to be less than or equal to 140. We also know that we only have 72 square feet of cabinets. So cabinet X requires 6 square feet of floor space. So 6X and cabinet Y requires 8 and again we have to have less than or equal to 72. Of course we can't have negative so we can't have negative cabinets, so they have to be greater than or equal to zero. Now take a second to put both of the first two in slope intercept form. All right, I put the first equation in slope intercept form right here. So I subtracted 10x from both sides, divided everything by 20 to get y is less than or equal to negative 1 half plus 7. And I took the second equation, I subtracted 6x from both sides, divided everything by 8 to get y is less than or equal to negative 3 fourths x plus 9. I could see where my um, y-intercepts were, so I numbered by ones. And again, I'm skipping the odds and just putting evens on the graph, but really my intervals are a length of 1 and now I'm going to graph. So here we have to start at 7 so right there and we have to go down 1 and over 2. So I have that red line. Now remember we also know that it has to be in the first quadrant. That's why I numbered only the first quadrant because of the x is greater than equals equal to 0 and y is greater than or equal to 0. And so I am not shading, but I know that all of the, those two would be here, and the one I just graphed, it's less than, so it would be here. Now I'm going to graph the second equation. So I have to start at 9, and I have to go down 3 and over 4. So again, pause and do your graph. So that is the blue line, and when I color in it's going to be all of this down here. So to find my vertices or my extreme points, it would be here at 0, 7. It would be here where they crossed or intersected at 8, 3. And it would be here at 12, 0. Now from here we have to check our objective quantity. So 8 times 0 plus 12 times 7. And 8 times 8 plus 12 times 3. All we're doing is putting in the ordered pairs that we just got. And 8 times 12 plus zero, 12 times 0. And when I work those out, so just plugging them into the calculator, I had an 84 
and then 196. So please let me know if you did not get the same thing. So right now I can see that my maximum value is 100 and it occurs at 8, 3, oops, 8, 3, which means to make 8 X cabinets and 3 Y cabinets.